Okay, family, here we are at Mikey's house. Let's hurry over to his place. Yeah, let's do it already. As long as no one sees or hears us. Oh no, it was a trap. What's going on? Where are we? I'm scared, Dad. Get us out of here. What do I see? The whole JJ family is caught in a trap. That's just great. You, get us out of here right now. When I get out of here, you're gonna be in trouble. Mikey, you're a genius. I never thought such a simple plan would work for the entire JJ family. Yes, yes, JJ, of course. What? What are you throwing at us? Oh no, it's a smoke bomb. Yeah, so keep it down, prisoners. Mikey, you're gonna regret what you did. Mark my words. Dad, I'm scared and it's hard to breathe. Oh, my head. Where am I? Looks like some kind of prison. Judging by the skeleton, we're gonna be here a while. Oh no, that's my wife in there. We should try to wake her up. Hey, get up. This is no time to sleep. We've all been kidnapped. Come on, get up. I'm getting worried. Oh, what's with the yelling? JJ, it's you. What's up? Where did Mikey's family take us? I don't really understand it myself, but we have to get out. I managed to find the Endersoul Hand. If I can reach it, we'll be out of here in a few minutes. It's not working. I don't have enough jump height. I gotta do something to help myself. Right, there's a pair of scissors and some wool blocks. Now I can reach my arm. That's it. All I have to do is go up on the blocks. Okay, careful not to drop it. Now we have to get it. That's it. I've got the Ender Soul hand. I think I can use it to cause an explosion near the cage. Get as far away from the cage as you can. It's gonna be a big explosion. Yay, you did it. Get me out of here quick. Sure, I'm on my way. Okay, we're out of here. But where is our son? It's weird that they didn't put him near us. God, I hope they didn't do anything bad to him. Let them try. Then they're finished. In the meantime, let's get out of this basement. Because I have a bad feeling about this. I agree with you. Let's go. Oh, there's a locked door. That's a problem. So how do we get out? Give me a minute to think. We don't have a minute, we have to act now. Oh yeah, I remember. I've got some lockpicks lying around. Here you go. Great, they're gonna help me break down this door. Well, wait, Mikey, you're out of line this time. As soon as I get out of here, I'm gonna find you. And there's nothing stopping me. Kidnapping my kid was definitely a mistake for him. We'll have to find a suitable punishment for him. How are you doing? One more second and we're free. Come on, let's get out of here. Wait, let's start by looking around the house. See if we can find any clues. All right, let's do it. There doesn't seem to be anything on the first floor. We should go up to the second floor. Hmm. Oh my God, what is this fear? Are these all Mikey's experiments? JJ, I'm really scared to be in here. There's so many of these cans. I see what Mikey was trying to accomplish with these experiments. It's not clear to me yet. But for now, let's just leave everyone. There's another room up front. Maybe there's something in there. Look, JJ, there's a TV. Let's turn it on. Yeah, let's do it. I hope Mikey's not crazy enough to record us a video message. Well, hello, JJ. If you can see that, you made it out. As you can see, I have your child in my custody. God, JJ, tell me this isn't true. My son is hanging above the lava. No, darling. Unfortunately, it's true. Mikey kidnapped our baby and is holding him over a vat of lava. We need to find them immediately and save our son. Wait, but where are you gonna find him? First, we'll get to the village and then we'll get the details. Great, we would have made it to the village. Now we have to look around here. Look, JJ, there's some abandoned house nearby. Let's go check it out. I agree. Of all the houses, it looks the most suspicious. Hey, somebody open the door. I have a couple questions. Well, who's knocking? What do you want? Can you tell me if Mikey's been around here lately? No, I haven't seen Mikey. Have a good day. Wait, don't go. I've got tons more questions. Here we go again. I'm telling you again, I haven't seen Mikey and his family in a long time. So stop knocking on my door. JJ, he said he hadn't seen Mikey's family, even though we only asked about one Mikey. Uh, you're right. There's something wrong here. If he won't open the door, we'll break it down and get in. All we have to do is throw a couple blocks at the door. Done. The door is open. Now you can go inside. It's weird. This house looks so empty. And where's the villager, by the way? Right. He couldn't just vaporize. 
There's got to be a secret passage somewhere. We got to find it. I think it's under the couch or the rug. We should check it out. I haven't found anything yet. Are you sure the passage is hidden in the floor? Yeah, I'm sure you are. There's the doorway. I told you, I know where it is. Let's hurry downstairs. All right, we're down. Just be as quiet as possible. We don't know what's in here. See, JJ, there are so many cells, and the villagers are locked in all of them. But why would Mikey want to do that? I don't know, but it's all very strange. I wonder if Mikey's up to his dirty human experiments again. It's never done any good. Wait, that's my son. Hurry up, I found our son. It can't be. Is he really here? Hurry up and open the door. We've got to get him out of this cage. Oh my God, all his limbs are tied up. It literally hurts me to look at it. By the way, we're making a lot of noise here. Let's see if anyone's in the hallway. Oh no, it's Mikey. I need you to hide somewhere right now. You get in that closet and I'll hide behind the table. I hope Mikey doesn't see me that way. I've got to get as far back in the corner as I can, but I really want to see what he's up to. So, how's it going with my dear inmates here? Are you all well? Oh yes, I see you're being well cared for. But it's only right, for I need you strong and healthy, for dead prisoners are of little use. I forgot to check on my most precious trophy, JJ's son. I think they put him in the furthest cage. Well, hello my dear, I see you're doing well. What's Mikey doing near my son? I want to get up and teach him a lesson, but so far, I haven't had a chance. Plus, I'm just going to screw up my whole family. I have to wait for Mikey to leave before I save my son and my wife. Yeah, he's leaving. That's it? Now that no one's around, we need to take action. First, we need to let the wife out. Honey, are you okay? God, I'm so scared. Mikey was standing about a meter away from me, and I was out of breath. But everything's going to be okay now. We have to untie these ropes one by one and get our son. Let's untie them at the same time. We did it. We set him free. He's still unconscious, but I think he's going to be okay. It's all about getting him out of that prison. Yeah, let's hurry up. I'm getting tired of all this. I just want to go home and forget this whole thing like a bad dream. But first, let's let all the villagers out. It's not their fault either. They were just kidnapped by Mikey. Okay, now all we have to do is climb the stairs. But why do I see fire above me? Oh no, it's like Mikey somehow found out we were here and decided to destroy the place with us. Oh no, the door's locked and I don't have time for lockpicks. I'll have to think of something else. There's no way to put the house out, so we have to break through the wall. That's the only way we can escape. It's a good thing the wall materials aren't strong. I'll break it down in no time. That's it. The new passage is ready. Let's get out of here. Come on, honey. Let's go. Careful, JJ. Don't run amok. There's a fire here, too. You could hurt yourself. Don't worry about me. It's our son that matters. We have to take him to the hospital. They'll definitely help him. There she is. Urgent help. My son is in a terrible state. Wait, you don't have to yell like that. Can't you see what's wrong with my son? Quickly help him. I'm begging you. Yeah, sure. Put him on this bed right here. My dear son, I hope all will be well. So, your son is in no danger. Just let him lie here for a while and he'll be fine. I promise you. All right, thank you. We're counting on you, doctor. Now we have to go to Mikey and show him what happens when you hurt someone in the JJ family. I agree. I've been itching to do something for them. <laughs> so, we made it to Mikey's house. But before we do anything else, I suggest we check to see if Mikey's home. I think you can tell that by looking out the window. Mikey's home and doing his daily routine. That's a good time to start making him a trap. I think we should start by digging a hole near his entrance. Let him experience what it's like to fall into a giant hole. I think it's the perfect trap for people like him. Let him get what he deserves. But just making a pit is boring so I'll add some spikes. It'll give the trap more feeling. Let's see how he talks when he falls in there. <laughs> and of course, I'll hide it under the rug so Mikey doesn't notice his gift beforehand. Almost there. I just need to figure out how to hold it in place. I think fans would be perfect for that. I'll make a wind trap that won't let him out until he falls into the hole. 
I can't wait for Mikey to come out here. It's always like that. Revenge is the best thing ever. And that's just a small part of what Mikey's gonna go through because I can't stop at one trap like this. I agree with you, JJ. Even though our child is fine, it's still not the right thing to do. So let's get the building done soon and start our entertainment. It's done. Just a couple seconds before Mikey goes down. Ah! Help me. How did I even get a hole like this right next to the aisle? <laughs> How do you like bouncing on spikes, Mikey? We made you this trap, so I hope you appreciate it. And remember, we're not stopping there. We'll find a way to get back at you. Bye-bye, Mikey. I think we have another great opportunity to get back at Mikey. Don't you think so, JJ? You are absolutely right, my dear wife. Let's make sure that Mikey's wife is in her house. It's going to be loud this time, so I'm hoping she'll be somewhere on the second floor. I don't think she'd be too offended if I checked her house. Great! Mikey's wife's on the second floor. It's just like I planned. Okay, this time, I want Mikey's wife to take a little ride on the trolley. Except it's not going to be business as usual. She's going to be surprised when she ends up on the TNT road. This is going to be a lot of fun. I can already picture it driving and then exploding. But how are you going to lure her outside? And that would be easy enough. I'll start by installing a cooler that will freeze her room. And to make sure she can't see anything, I'll throw in a couple smoke grenades. That's it. As soon as she runs out, she's on the trolley. All right, we're all set. Now I have to get the cooler and get close to her. As long as they don't hear me. Okay, quietly. I think she went to the room to the right of the stairs. I need to set up the cooler and run as fast as I can. Well, Happy New Year. I hope you enjoy the snow and frost in your room. Now the second step is to block her view. All we have to do is wait and see. What's going on? Why is my whole house covered in snow? Oh my God. And it's all smoky. <laughs> I can't see anything. Hey. Why am I sitting in a minecart? <laughs> well, that's it. Another victim of our revenge. I don't think there's anything left after an explosion like that, so I'll have to check it out. Just as I thought, only the minecart survived. I wonder what they're made of. Only their son left. I suggest we go after him. Look, we found Mikey's son, and I already know what we're gonna do with him. First, we're gonna have to lure him away from the playground because he's really into playing there right now. That's why I brought my toys. I'm gonna put them right up to the pool where all the fun is gonna happen. Just like that, one by one. I'm gonna put them in a straight line so son of Mikey can get a bite. I'll just have to wait for him to see the trail of toys. In the meantime, we can get the pool ready for him. We should dig a little hole by the pool and set up everyone's favorite crocodile trap. Except there are no crocodiles, so we'll just use scorpions. I think three blocks deep is enough to make it work. Okay, the perfect hole is made. Now we need to move on to the mechanism that will let the scorpions into the pool. First, you need to break almost the entire wall and then put the signs instead of blocks. It's a good thing I got a lot of them. They are fragile, and as soon as the mechanism works, they will break and let the scorpions in. And what will break the signs are these sticky pistons that I'll remotely trigger. I like this trap because it's quick and easy to build. The main thing is to remember to connect all the pistons with one line of redstone so that there is synchronization. You also need repeaters so that the signal reaches all elements of the chain. Okay, we're almost there. We just need to tweak a little bit here and close the circuit carefully. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've built something like this. I'm a little rusty on how to put redstone together quickly. That's it, perfect. Now I'll close up part of the wall and start hiding the trap. It worked, you can't even see my trap from the side. Just gotta make sure it's working. Let's pull the lever and check it out. And yes, it's working perfectly. All that's left is to fill the pit with scorpions. I remember them being around here somewhere. We should check out the lake. All right, here they are. I think it'll be easiest to lure them out using myself and run to the pit. Scorpions, come on. Looks like they've fallen for it and started chasing me, which is good. The most important thing now is to get to the pit because they bite really hard. Come on, JJ, only a few meters to go and you're saved. Wrong way. Come on, let's get down there. 
Yeah, I got it. The scorpions are in position. All that's left is to close them up. All right, I got the scorpions hidden. Now it's time to get Mikey's kid in here because he's already playing in there. Hmm. Apparently, he has no desire to leave this site at all. Well, then I'll help him. I just happen to have a gravitational accelerator. I guess Mikey's son won't have a choice if the whole house suddenly falls down. I should run away too. That's it, the house is destroyed. We need to follow Mikey's son to the right direction. Come on, you can make it to the trap. Oh, I think the house is broken. Where am I supposed to play now? I'm gonna have to come up with something new. Oh, looks like there's some toys scattered around. Since no one's home, they'll be mine. I'll have to get them all. That's right, good for you. Keep picking up your toys and head straight to the pool. I don't think he'll be able to resist the temptation to swim in the warm water with his new toys. Oh, right, I totally forgot we have a pool. Oh, that's great. I really want to swim in it. I think I need to jump in to make a big wave. There's not much left, so get ready. I understand. You just wait until it hits the water and then pull the lever. Just a couple more seconds, let him get a good altitude, and then it's time to pull. Ow! Where did the scorpions come from in the pool? Somebody help me, I can't handle them. I need you to get out of the pool, but the scorpions are in my way. It's unlikely he'll be able to handle them. Even I found it very hard to do so. And now it turns out we've gotten revenge on everyone in Mikey's family. I think they've learned their lesson and won't do anything else crazy.